The design of crane foundations is not an easy task as it involves safety risks that need to consider throughout the course of its service. In doing so, the designer should equip with technical know-how in order to produce a safe and sound design. Technical know-how involves at least the basic principle on how the design approach will be. But before we proceed further, for those who are not subscribed yet and want to notify for our future uploads, please subscribe and hit the notification bell and get updated. For a better understanding, let us first familiarize the basic parts of the tower crane that are mentioned in this video, according to the following sketch. Generally, tower crane mast legs can be mounted or cast on its foundations, and in some cases, it is fixed to the surface of the foundations, in addition to concrete blocks known as ballast, that used to counter the tower crane weight and its forces. The tower crane reactions differ and vary according to the model and the method of how the crane will be mounted to the foundation. Since tower cranes have reactions that differ according to the model, this video will discuss only the general approach to how the tower crane base is being designed. Here are the design criteria for tower crane foundation design. 1. Crane model and specifications. To start the design of tower crane foundations, the designer should gather all the necessary data needed in the design. The model name of the crane to be used in the construction and its technical data should be identified. Each crane model and its data differ from each other, so it is best to verify the model of the crane to use at the start. The crane's technical data will give you the information needed in the design, such as tower crane height, H, jib length, leg dimensions, and spacing, and more importantly, the foundation loads or reactions. 2. Tower crane base reactions. The reactions to consider in the design of the tower crane foundation are specified in the technical data provided by crane manufacturer or supplier. The maximum in service or when the tower crane is operational and out of service or when the tower crane is at rest are used in the analysis. The tower crane reactions to the foundation include the twisting moment or the torque MT, design moment in X and Y directions, MX and MY, horizontal forces, HX and HY, and vertical V reactions. Note that the crane base reactions differ when the crane legs are embedded in the foundations or when using a ballast weight. 3. Load Cases Assignment. The tower crane base reactions as previously mentioned should be considered in the calculations. Figure 3.1 shows the typical crane reaction schemes that are acting on the foundations. These reactions should apply in all possible locations or load cases when the crane is at rest and during the operations. The load cases in orthogonal and diagonal orientations as shown in figure 3.2 should be applied in the calculations. The locations of the reactions should be rotated in all possible positions, though it is obvious that the critical is when the boom is positioned at 45 degrees. To distinguish the critical case, the load cases shall be checked by incorporating it via load combinations. Four, load combinations. To reflect the maximum and worst forces caused by the tower crane reactions, it should be incorporated in the load combinations specified by the code. The tower crane load cases shall be combined with the following basic load combinations. Only gravity loads are used in the combinations with the crane reactions. It is assumed that lateral loads, wind and seismic, will not occur at the same time during the crane operation. Five, foundation design. The tower crane foundation should be designed and assumed as a freestanding crane. This is to ensure that all the reactions and moments are being taken by the foundation itself. The designer can use any of the foundation types available. 
but the most common foundation to use is an isolated footing. A pile cap foundation is also applicable depending on the soil characteristic. In some cases, tower crane's legs are cast along with the raft foundations or raft on piles. Regardless of which type of foundation to use, it should be design and review, according to the following design checks. Pull-out check. For tower crane legs embedded into the foundation, the crane mast is anchored using four legs. Therefore a tension force will be developed and it is subjected to tensile loadings. In this regard, the set amount of tension force should be resisted through concrete pull-out design. To prevent the tension and shear loading failures from happening, it should be designed according to the code set forth in Chapter 27 of ACI 318M14 or Appendix D of ACI 318M08 when using American code for example. An additional ties should be provided in case of the concrete pullout is not sufficient. Punching shear check. The compression force from the anchor developed caused by the vertical load should also be check and design according to punching as specified by the code. The thickness of the foundation should be sufficient enough to resist punching stress. Crack width check. When the foundation is subjected to hydrostatic pressure a crack width check is required. Although deweightering works are present, the designer should take into consideration the worst case scenario when the deweightering works are no longer required. Crack width for the crane base slab can be assessed using service moments as per the procedure specified in ACI 224R when using American code. The crack widths in X and Y direction of reinforcement are reviewed for the top and bottom surface of the foundation. The allowable crack width for the top and bottom of the foundations is 0.3 mm as outlined in section 1.3. Structural software that we can use in the design. A finite element analysis software such as Safe by CSI and other related structural software are the software that we can use to model and design of tower crane foundations to make sure that all the load cases and other design considerations that we discussed are being reflected. What do you think about this video? If you learn something new, don't forget to like, share and subscribe for more. Check out also our previous video that you might interested in. Thanks for watching.